But first tonight, what else can be done to take back the community from crime? That was the tone of the downtown Norfolk Civic League meeting after another bout of violence. A week and a half ago, four people, including a Norfolk Sheriff's deputy, were shot in the heart of the city's cultural arts district. According to police data, this now marks nine shootings downtown this year. Town on your side's Brent Hall joins us now with what residents believe needs to happen next. Brett? After a quadruple, a quintuple actually shooting on Grammy Street in March that killed three people, city leadership increased police patrols. They bought surveillance cameras and they said they were going to increase code enforcement. Well, tonight in a meeting with the Civic League, the interim police was for, chief was frank about saying he doesn't think any of that has really deterred people from pulling out a gun. The Civic League, they've been pushing since March for a midnight closing for all bars and restaurants. Is there now a chance of that happening? Downtown Norfolk Civic League President Leela Van says tonight her monthly meeting saw nearly record attendance. Our members are pretty upset. For no bragging matter. It's gotten so unsafe out there. It feels unsafe to us if we go out there. New screenshots police have from inside the Legacy Nightclub a week and a half ago show the chaos ahead of a quadruple shooting outside. Interim Police Chief Mike Goldsmith says there have been nine shooting incidents downtown this year alone. That's four more than all of last year. Four people have lost their lives. Well, Councilwoman Courtney Doyle says she appreciates the beefed up police presence. Frankly, lack of respect and regard for people's lives is, is just inordinate. She is still pushing for a midnight closure for all bars and nightclubs until violent incidents become less common. That's something that we still need to discuss amongst ourselves with council. However, several business owners tell us it's unfair to target all when they believe only a few are causing issues. Councilwoman Andrea McClellan says she doesn't want to see anything that hurts the vibrancy downtown. We have to be very careful about is not to be so heavy handed that we hurt everybody. So again, what else can be done? While the city is again Every promising to double down on their code enforcement efforts on downtown businesses, downtown. it was Charles Rasputin, owner of the Slow Dive Gallery, who says a practice called bottle service needs to go. I think that needs to to be as legally as possible taken out of the culture of, of nightlife. Bottle service is when you purchase an entire bottle of liquor for your table. A popular option in nightclubs, but and it creates this co competitive environment of who's the biggest baller, who has the most money. Several bar owners tell 10 on your side. It's this competition that is creating a lot of the tension. And Councilwoman McClellan says the city is trying to strengthen its relationship with Virginia ABC, the alcohol, beverage, the alcohol beverage control board, to see if anything can be done to limit bottle service. But really, the entire conversation among many city leaders and business owners and neighbors is how to change the behavior of people downtown, not shutting down businesses, but changing the behavior of those that go to them. But it appears if businesses aren't willing to help them with that, they may be out. Live in the newsroom, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.